Hello and welcome to Cutaneous Lymphoma Treatment video series presented to you by Cutaneous Lymphoma Foundation. My name is Neda Nijbak and I run the Dermatology Cutaneous Lymphoma Clinic at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital in Philadelphia. In this fourth video of the six part video series, we will talk about systemic therapies delivered in the form of pills or self-injectable. These are reserved for patients with significant skin involvement, those with hard to control symptoms, or perhaps with aggressive subtypes of mycosis fungoides. We will review three oral medications, bexerotene, methotrexate, and orinostat. Oral bexerotene is a vitamin A derivative from a class of drugs called retinoids. Retinoids can cause modification of inflammation and cancer cell death. FDA approved oral bexerotene for persistent CTCL, and it's commonly used for stages 1B, 2B, and 3A, meaning patients who have large areas of skin involved with disease patients who have tumors or something called erythroderma. It comes in a capsule form, usually started at lower doses, 150 to 300 milligram daily, but those can be increased if response is not achieved. Other oral retinoids, such as isotretinoin or acetretin, may be used in treatment of CTCL. The most common side effects of oral bexorotene include increase in lipids and decreased thyroid activity. Therefore, lab monitoring, meaning routine blood tests of both lipids and thyroid hormones are required during the course of treatment. You are likely to receive a combination of thyroid medication and lipid lowering agents such as phenofibrates, omega-3 fatty acids, or a class of drugs called statins while being treated with bexorotene to control these side effects. Varinostat is another oral treatment and it belongs to a relatively new class of drugs called histone deacetylase inhibitors or HDAC inhibitors. These drugs affect and modulate the DNA of the cells, especially cancer cells. Varinostat requires heart monitoring with electrocardiograms and blood tests for platelet counts, and electrolytes. Some side effects include loss of appetite, lack of stool, or weight loss. Now let's talk about methotrexate, a very old drug that essentially is a form of chemotherapy because it prevents dividing cells, especially cancer cells, from dividing and growing. The pill form is taken once a week, usually starting at lower numbers and increasing it weekly to something about 10 of the 2.5 milligram pills a week. This weekly dose is usually combined with the daily intake of a folate vitamin on days not taking methotrexate. Methotrexate requires blood tests for monitoring blood cells kidneys, and liver. Some common side effects include gastrointestinal symptoms, such as diarrhea and abdominal pain. For those patients with severe gastrointestinal side effects of methotrexate, we may try an injectable form of methotrexate. This brings us to the other class of injectable treatments very commonly used in treatment of CTCL called interferons. 
Different interferons may be utilized in treatment of CGCL, including interferon alpha 2b, interferon gamma 1b, and interferon alpha 2a. Interferon is a naturally occurring antiviral protein. It is a form of immunotherapy to stimulate body's immune system in fighting cancer. It is patient administered by injections under the skin three days per week. Most often it is used in combination with other treatments and it's commonly combined with photophoresis. Most common side effects are flu-like symptoms and fatigue. 